whatever nutritious food we eat it has to go through the mouth the esophagus the stomach the small intestine and the large intestine and through all these process they have to get digested and the digested nutrients have to get absorbed into the blood and it has to reach all the organs there are so many areas where this can go a little bit haywire or it won't go to the optimal level let's say for example there has to be an absorption in the mouth rather i would say there is a digestion in the mouth with the saliva and then it goes into the stomach where the hydrochloric acid come into play and they digest and some of the absorption takes place a little bit there and then the food goes into the small intestine the duodenum and the small intestine where there is mixing of the pancreatic juice as well as the bile coming from the liver and they do the major uh, digestion there and there is a lot of absorption that is taking place in that area and finally it goes into the large intestine wherein there is another metabolic action takes place with the microbiota and a lot of absorption also takes place from there but in all these places it all the absorption of the micronutrients depends upon the digestive capacity of the saliva the digestive juices as well as the absorptive capacity of the uh, stomach small intestine large intestine when there is some disturbance or difficulty in any of these things the nutrition absorption is not proper so that is why sometimes whatever nutritious food you eat the desired nutrient does not reach so how to overcome that the best and the simplest and the easiest and the most effective way is intravenous nutrition intravenous nutrition overcomes all these digestive related absorption act and it directly goes into the blood and directly goes into the cells and it triggers all the desired uh, metabolic activity as well as the nutrition related activities so iv nutrition is a big advantage for us because it directly goes into the target area target organs iv nutrition plays a very very major role in the crisis management as well as in the preventive health care let's say for example there are a lot of people who say that they have extreme tiredness weakness and all these things which we call as as a chronic fatigue syndrome there are some people who the intracellular function like for example which is taking place in the mitochondria which is called as the powerhouse of the cell there has to be some changes which has to take place which converts the nutrition oxygen into atp which is the energy giving molecule these are all things which takes place in different areas but they have to be fed with the proper nutrition which has to escape if at all there is a disturbance of the intestinal tract it has to go directly into the cell so when you use iv nutrition let's say for example glutathione which goes directly into the cell directly into the mitochondria and produce the desired effect so a lot of people who have an oxidative stress glutathione acts as ex- acts as an excellent antioxidant and it reverses the oxidative stress in the body because as you all know oxidative stress is one of the main cause for aging all neurodegenerative diseases and many more things right so we have a lot of intravenous nutritions like let's say for example mys cocktail uh, iv glutathione iv amino acids iv micronutrients and so many so many micronutrients which have been tested proven and being practiced all over the world extremely effectively though of course it is not mainly dealt with in the mainstream medicine in all the functional medicine uh, doctors clinic and in all the uh, complementary medical practices this plays a very major role especially in germany and all if you see that there are so many iv nutrition clinics in us also have seen lot of places where people just walk in take a shot of iv nutrition and then just walk back to the work so that is so effective if we can do that it will give remarkable as well as it is a very safe procedure please understand this is a very very safe procedure it is being done under the medical care and it has been properly tested and there is absolutely nothing to worry about and there is so called side effects are very 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 minimal i would say if at all there is anything i would say it is no but the effectiveness of iv nutrition is phenomenal especially in the covid situation where there is a lot of people going through post covid blues you know what they call that they, they are feeling ex- exhausted weak tired and all these things they can take the iv nutrition and get back better than the original state before the pre covid situation in also conditions like cancer and many things where instead of using the 
mainstream medical treatment, there are people who are opting for intravenous vitamin C, intravenous micronutrient, they all play as a very, very effective treatment for the condition. It's not just as a supplement. Please understand, IV vitamin C in some conditions acts as a natural chemotherapeutic agent. It is so powerful to kill the cancer cells and it is extremely effective in conditions of malignancies. So even if a person takes chemotherapy, radiation and all these things still, they don't feel many times uh, healthy or rather they feel always exhausted weak. Those people can also opt for IV nutrition and they can feel they are perfectly in good health. So IV nutrition is a, one of the major, major breakthrough and rather I would say is a major boon for all of us. It's not that you need to take it only when you are sick. You can take, there are IV nutrition protocols which can make you to prevent from falling sick. There are a lot of preventive healthcare uh, IV nutrition protocols which can give you enormous amount of immune boosting, which can uh, give you enormous amount of antioxidant effect, which can give you enormous amount of uh, clarity in the brain because there is a specific protocol which can remove the faint, uh, brain fog, which can improve your intelligent acuity. It is fantastic effectiveness, IV nutrition plays a very, very major role in a healthy individual as well as in a sick person. So IV nutrition I would request and I would advise all of you, you can try once and then you will feel the difference between the uh, normal diet, oral supplements and the IV nutrition. Oral supplements also are very good but you know what, sometimes they are not getting absorbed properly. So IV nutrition crosses all these things and directly goes into the blood and give you phenomenal improvement and excellent health. If we want to get healthy, if you are looking at wellness, IV nutrition is the best choice. Thank you.